G'day, so thought I'd better uh, do an update on the cherry bark graft that I did about a year ago um, but at the same time I'll show you some of the other grafts that I've recently done around here so this is a Alberta peach I've put on some JH Hale, some donut peach, uh, Anzac peach um, Valley Red and then not only that, this Alberta already last year I've grafted on some white peach the graft is back here and then down here was um, an early peach so that's taken the graft is just back back there okay so this is the uh, cherry from the video last year uh, it's grown quite a bit it's uh, been pruned but not only that it was pruned a bit early because it had those uh, caterpillar waspy things whatever made a video on them before when I had a problem with them uh, getting into the end of the tips there and trying to lay their eggs and then there's another cherry all the uh, graphs are with either Royal Rana or Stella so yeah, it's all gone well hopefully I'll get some fruit off it this year now to the apple. So here's the uh, apple or hopefully future Frank and apple. It's already a three-way apple, Royal Gala, Red Delicious and Pink Lady. You can see the three breaks down there. Uh, daughter's strung this on the tree. So I told her to stay away from the grafts. So of course she's gone up and had to not listen. <laughs> Anyhow, so there's some uh, red apple. I think that might possibly be red fleshed, I'm not sure, but it did have a red stem on it uh, when grafting. There's some sundowner, cox pippin, granny smith, uh, it's a Croatian apple. Mutsu, Mutsu, and then here's a double. This is sorry, yeah, this is a Mutsu and the Calville Blank de Hiva. However, I was running out of spots to graft on, so yeah, I did a double graft there. Uh, this is Peas Good None Such. So I've got to thank uh, Ben from Sydney Tropical Fruit for uh, a lot of these grafts. We did a bit of a trade. What else is there? Winter banana. An opalesque. And I say the graphs vary between whip and tongue, cleft. Um, yeah, so anyhow, I'll get onto the pear and I've got some other apples and things like and that. So here's a full size apple rootstock. I've grafted uh, Fuji, Fuji seedling, winter banana, peas good, none such. Uh, and then space for at least one more on there. Here's a uh, cherry rootstock. I've bud grafted some lapins on there. Um, Royal Rana and Stella. And I uh, just noticed this is the um, Australian mountain pepper, Tasmanian mountain pepper. And I assume that's in the process of starting to flower, or we'll see. So here's a uh, cocktail pear that was just planted up from a bare root and um, grafted baby face pear onto it. There's also a peach out the front with uh, heaps of other grafts on it. Most of them, I mean, all the same grafts as I'll put on the other peach here. Uh, I've also grafted one onto a fig for Joa, a citrus already, but most of the other citrus and things I'll leave for another couple of weeks. All over to the Nashi. So uh, one I nearly forgot then was uh, this is a Stella cherry with some lapins grafted onto it and then over here is a Royal Rana cherry and again it's some other more lapins grafted onto that. I had the material so and more security to make sure it all takes. So. And so this is a uh, Nashi pear with some Hoisu Nashi grafted onto it. I'm not actually sure what this Nashi is, it was just labelled Nashi so um, 
yeah, we'll see. Hopefully it's something different. The photo that I had on the tag did look a bit different, but who knows whether it was just a generic photo or the actual fruit. Um, and, yeah, so thanks to Ben for those signs as well uh, from Sydney Fruit Gardening. And I forgot to mention a lot of those peaches came from uh, Vanette and the cherry from Vanessa at um, Cool Temperate Gardening in Canberra. So I'll leave some links up to the channel or something shortly. Oh, well... Have a good one and I'll update on them all in a month or so. See ya.